Good morning. I wanted to take a walk around and show you. Yeah, there's our storage pods while we're waiting for our house to be rebuilt. But I wanted to show you where Sanctuary of Hecate Bremo is and what it really consists of right now since the flood. Um, so I'm gonna turn my camera around. All right, so this is the property. Um, previously, where you see all this water, there was no water. So when the flood came through, um, this there's a tributary from the Neuse River that comes directly behind the house. Um, so looking through this little wooded area, none of this water that was here um, was here before. So if you look straight across right there, um, that's the actual mouth and where the tributary lies. So that river goes this way. And when it rains too much, our back area here fills with water. So I'm just gonna walk over this way a little bit. So on this side is where the ritual area was. So you can see that water comes all the way up. And now I'm just going to walk up this way. And you can see there's quite a little heel here. There's the road. You can hear the road noise. So if I come up this way, right through here next to those two big pine trees that are right beside each other, that would be right here, there's a platform up top with a 10 by, I don't know, 15, 10 by 20 concrete pad um, that we were using for, we could use it for drumming circles or um, ritual spaces, that kind of thing. Um, but right now you can see we can't really get to it because the river is really high right now. So we're not able to get in and, and really do anything. Um, we hope to try and do some work with that as soon as it's resolved, as soon as the housing situation is resolved. Right now we're still staying in an RV while we wait for our house to be built. Um, it's been seven years now that we're waiting for this to be completed. Um, hopefully it'll be completed soon. Um, but just going to take another little walk back here so you can see. Um, we have some wild blackberries that grow back here. So here's some, one of the canes, the wild blackberries. Um, I also have persimmon trees back here. We have muscadine grape that grows back here. Um, oh gosh, what else? All sorts of wild creatures live out here. Just take a look up, there's our RV. And then that's pretty much it. Um, my next uh, video, I'm gonna go down and take you into Seven Springs so you can see exactly how small it is um, and see where uh, my family is from. Um, they actually came from Whitehall. They settled Whitehall, which was the name of Seven Springs before it was transferred over. Um, and I think that's why I have such a deep connection to the rivers of the Noose, uh, the animals that are here, the plants that are here, and so forth. So I hope you enjoy this little peek at what the sanctuary is right now, and uh, hopefully we'll have changes going forward or what you'll be able to see in the future.